Uh, hi dear students, uh, here we are going to discuss this question. This is about uh, data representation and uh, interpretation. And this is going to be a very, uh, very useful uh, question and uh, a discussion for you. Uh, because this is going to help you in your uh, term test as well as your uh, all level examination because you are going definitely going to get this kind of a question right so uh, you can watch this and you can learn how to do the things and i'm going to discuss uh, some uh, some parts of theory that you require to uh, work this and also uh, you can watch uh, till the end and uh, if you have learned something you can write in the comment section and uh, also, uh, if you have this kind of papers that uh, should have been discussed, as you think, you can send me those papers. And um, I like to do this. Um, so uh, watch till the end and learn it and practice all these things and do it again and again and you will be uh, better, right? And uh, like this video, and share with your friends and um, that is going to be great. Right, and you can if you haven't, you can uh, subscribe to my channel if you are new. Right. Um, uh, by the way, I have my classes in Nigambu, so you can join my classes, uh, um, physical classes, and uh, uh, this is for uh, grade six to uh, eleven, um, English medium in Nigambu. So my name is Milan. So um, let's go to the question. Right here, uh, you have to take this. Um, uh, something the following table shows um, the uh, following table uh, shows the marks obtained by 80 students of grade 11 for mathematics at a particular school uh, complete the following table by filling the blanks here uh, you have this 20 to 30 marks 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 60 to 70 70 to 80 80 to 90 90 to 100 is something like this so uh, frequency is 11 9 12 and we have to fill some uh, gaps right uh, here uh, you know 11 plus 9 is uh, 20 so um, here you get uh, it is mm, 20 right and also uh, you know here uh, 20 plus um, 12 is 32 and 32 plus uh, 19 is 51 and here I have 14, 8 and uh, 65, 65 plus 8 is, um, um, you get 73 and 73, uh, so it has to be 78, so you have to add uh, 5 here, so this is the complete table you have to um, do here, um, actually uh, this part is going to be uh, used um, for drawing the uh, cumulative frequency curve and uh, this is the cumulative frequency curve actually we have to draw it here I will show you how to draw this in this one actually I'm going to do uh, I'm going to draw this in a paper uh, in a sheet of paper uh, this kind of a graph paper uh, and I will draw this physically and I will show you in the next slide uh, how to um, how it looks like when you when you have completed this but here I'm going to show you the steps that you have to take in order to draw this correctly so here you have to mark uh, you know you have to start the marks here uh, so you have to start from 20 because there are no zero or something you have to uh, mark 20 here and uh, you can take uh, then this is 30 40 uh, 50 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100, right? So this is how you get this and you have this cumulative frequency here. And it has to be something up to uh, 80, right? Because there are 80 students, you can write it here, 10, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. Uh, here um, there are uh, 80 students in this particular class, right? Uh, in the particular school, I think. 
uh, and uh, then we will mark the uh, cumulative frequency right so when it comes from 20 uh, when it is 20 you, you start, have to start with 0 when it comes 20 to 30 the uh, it is 11 right so I can mark 11 somewhere around here uh, maybe you can see this around here right I have to mark 11 and when it comes to 40 it has to be 20 right so it is something here and then um, when it comes to uh, 50 it is going to be um, 32 right and it comes to 50 and we have to mark 32 here and then uh, it comes to uh, 60 then uh, it is 51 right so 51 you can mark uh, around here and uh, for uh, 60 to 70 then it is 65 you have to go to 65 uh, when it is 70 you see uh, it is it is going down to 70 now this is going to be 65 right and uh, then let's go to uh, 80 when it is 80 it is 73 the cumulative frequency is 73 something like this when it goes to uh, 90 it is uh, the cumulative frequency 78 uh, when it goes to 100 the cumulative frequency is uh, 80 okay. so this is something like this and you will get a rough sketch uh, here like uh, actually I will show you how to draw this on paper and I will draw it on paper and I will show you and also we'll assume these uh, the required uh, values also it is something like this you will uh, this will uh, look like something uh, like this so then uh, we will uh, see how it looks when I draw this uh, on a sheet of paper uh, then we have to find uh, using the above uh, cumulative frequency curve obtain the median of the frequency distribution so you know the median uh, is the uh, second quartile that means uh, there are uh, 80 there are uh, 80 students here so now we have arranged them in the ascending order and now we have to go to 40 uh, one half of the students right that means the uh, 40 right so we will find the 40th student this is the 40th student right? the 40th, 40th student is here that means uh, you can say this uh, 40th student so the median should be the mark of the 40th student so I can mark it here and I have I start from here and I come down to there and I can get the value here so the value in this place is the median right so maybe 55 56 or something like this actually I will show you in the next slide uh, the exact value because I have drawn this and uh, I have found the median and uh, this is how you get and you must uh, know uh, when you try to find the median where to start you can start here this way you go down you go to you go here and then you go come down here this is how you find so you must not forget that you know some students forget uh, um, from where to where but now uh, if you see this uh, I have clearly mentioned the um, arrows you can see the direction right and uh, this is the value uh, you can get uh, according to this one uh, I have drawn uh, maybe, uh, this this uh, things like this uh, may vary slightly because uh, of the shape and the things we draw but here I got uh, as I have drawn this um, uh, this value is uh, about um, this is 54 so the median should be 54 that means uh, mark 54 is the median so uh, that 25% uh, uh, of the students fail in the exam find the uh, find the um, mark that students fail so 25% means 25% you have to take 25% um, from 80 
then you get um, you get 20 so the then um, 20 students must fail right so you can see the 20th student the 20th student is here right it's the 20th student because um, 25 percent have failed right so here you get uh, at the um, at the 20th student the uh, mark is obviously 40 so uh, the find the mark that students fail is uh, 50 oh, sorry uh, is 40 so 40 is the pass mark in this exam uh, right so this is the mark right you get 40 this is the answer right so uh, I think you have understood all these and uh, if you have learned something um, you can uh, uh, you can um, comment you can share you can like and uh, you can subscribe to my channel and that is going to be very support so um and I do my class I just remember again so I think I wish you all the best in your term tests and all your exams. We we'll see you in the next video.